drop downs are super useful in discord bots and so today i'll be showing you guys how you can implement it into your bot itself we'll be using discord.py for this and up on screen is an example of what we're going to be creating so without further ado let's get straight to it all right here i am in my visual studio code and what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to create a class and it's going to be called youtuber drop down and inside here we're going to discord.ui dot select because they're also referred to as selects and so we can open this up and we can do dev underscore in it basically just get started uh for some reason to add space there but basically that's it and inside here we're gonna get straight into it by doing options equal and we're gonna open up an array now inside this array it's gonna be discord dot select option about that select option and over here now this can be anything this auto fill to pewdiepie but we're going to alter that a bit i'm going to change the emoji just get rid of it and yeah you can add an emoji if you'd like but instead of pewdiepie we're just going to do ghost right very good youtube channel someone that you should definitely subscribe to we're going to do something like very good youtuber someone who you should uh subscribe to Okay, now that we have that, I'm pretty much just going to copy and paste this because, let's be honest, I'm the only contender over here. And because you can't have the same label for them, you can have the same description but not the same label. I'm going to alter them a bit, add an extra K and add an underscore here. And yeah, this is pretty much it, right? I'm, I should only be the, I should be the only contender here anyways. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, please. I'm like on the cusp of 4,000 subscribers. Like, I think the one more push and we can get there. Anyways, I'm gonna I'll create an init. And what we're gonna pass in over here is the placeholder. So we're gonna do placeholder. And it'll say, who is the best YouTuber? For... Right? Um, and then inside here, we're just gonna do options equals options. And we can also do min value equals one max value equals one okay now that that's done and it should be max values with an s just remember that and we're almost done here because we have to add a callback async def callback interaction equals discord interaction like this and inside here what we're gonna pass in is basically whenever they click an option what do you want the bot to actually do and so that's what we're gonna tell it to do here inside the callback so whether you want to pass this into another function or you can do whatever you want with it you want to create this into a button sure but what we're going to do is something super simple we're just going to send a message so we can do a interaction dot response dot send underscore message you chose and we can do over here self right self is basically the youtuber drop down self dot and then values right so values and when we do self dot values there are two values it's label and description and we want the first one so we'll do zero and then we'll say you chose as the best YouTuber, and I agree. And we'll put a couple of Toda keys so it's formatted a bit better and it stands out a bit. And that's literally it. Now you can change this to whatever you'd like, right? If option chosen equals glow stick, then send this. And if option chosen equals glow stick, then send this. You know, I should be the only contender though. So after we have that, you can't actually just pass in the drop down alone. You have to pass in a drop down view. And so the way that we do that is we create yet another class called YouTuber View. And inside of this is gonna just be a view and it's gonna be super simple. It's gonna be the init. We're gonna supervise this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do self dot add item YouTuber drop down little yet. We don't need to pass anything because this doesn't accept anything. And that's it. Now we can hook this all up to a final command and be on our way. So we're going to do bond command and async def and inside here what we're going to do is i guess we can call the command youtuber and we can do ctx which is commands.context and inside here we're going to do await ctx.send and what we're going to send is something like click the drop down below to pick the best youtuber 
right something super simple and then we're gonna do add a comma and we want to pass in the view when we pass in the view don't pass in the drop down pass in the youtuber view and the bit where you do that simple as that and that's it so we're gonna hop into discord and we're actually gonna test this out all right so here i am in my discord uh it's discord.gg slash glowstick please join i'm trying to get to 1.5 thousand members and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do youtuber right just run the command and you see click the drop down below to pick the best youtuber so we can pick and very good contenders here we have glow stick glow stick and glow stick so i think i'll choose glow stick and so what i'll say is you chose glow stick as the best youtuber and i agree and so that's pretty much it right so you can do you can do this again right there you go and you have it again you can even do this with embeds like i have on my bot here if i do auto mod you'll see auto mod and so this is just kind of like the extent that you can use it to but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and until next time close to go see ya